A while back, I did a poll on our community tab about which countries you think we should include more of on our channel. And both Poland and the Baltics came out on top. So your wish is my command. And today we'll take a deep dive into the hard-hitting subject of Polish-made military equipment. Poland's historic place among the military greats is unchallenged. Their military tactics and equipment was often at the forefront of international development. Like, for example, with their medieval cavalry tactics and very early adaptation of letting lower rank officers decide how to reach their objectives. A lot of this heritage has translated into their current military industry, and a lot of the current best gear present in Ukraine is Polish-made. IFVs, artillery, drones, and APCs made in Poland is giving all other equipment a run for their money. And today we'll look at what I consider the best Polish-made military equipment. It would be foolish of me to start anywhere else than the infamous Rosomark APC, considering its immense success in Ukraine. The Rosomark Armored Personnel Carrier, based on the Finnish Patria AMV, is renowned for its operational versatility and reliability in diverse combat roles, ranging from armored transport to command vehicle and more. The Rosomark has a slightly thinner armor than its Finnish counterpart, but it makes up for it in speed. Ukraine has received around 200 of these in total, and it is often sent to the hardest areas of the front. Even in such conditions, the loss ratio on the Rosomark is still very low, and it often takes hits from artillery or tanks head-on in order to put it out of business. Ukraine's current operation in Kursk sees a heavy presence of this vehicle, and as with its Finnish counterpart, is often deployed heavily for flanking maneuvers behind enemy lines and across bodies of water due to its speed and amphibious capability. Out of the 200 or so delivered to Ukraine, Oryx has only been able to find a total of six destroyed Rosomax. And when you consider how Russia loves to brag when destroying Western equipment, that number is probably not that far from the total destroyed. This means that only 3% of Ukraine's current Rosomax have been destroyed, even with the tough conditions it has met. It's a testament to its incredible capability. Second on the list is as natural as the first spot. The Crab is a highly advanced piece of Polish artillery, featuring a 155mm cannon mounted on a robust South Korean K9 Thunder chassis, complemented by a British AS-90 Braveheart turret. This self-propelled howitzer combines exceptional mobility with significant firepower, making it capable of delivering effective long-range fire support across a variety of combat scenarios. The Crab's sophisticated fire control systems enable precise targeting, enhancing its operational effectiveness in engaging enemy positions from a distance. It is a long-standing favorite of Ukrainian artillery crews, not just because of its availability, but also due to how Poland is Ukraine's neighbor and can essentially help restore damaged units right across the border. Out of the 100 delivered to Ukraine, around 30 have been destroyed or damaged, with several of these units likely repaired thereafter especially early on in Ukraine's Kharkiv counter-offensive in 2022, saw the Krab essentially carry much of the counter-battery fire for the Ukrainians. It was an early Western piece of kit, which saw Ukraine gain the technological edge over Russia before more advanced systems were donated by the US, Germany, France and Sweden. While a Caesar or Archer likely adds more capability to the Ukrainians, the mere quantity of the crab likely gives it the top spot out of all tube-launched artillery in Ukraine. Rounding off my top three best Polish military technology is a natural pick. The way drone warfare has changed the world makes this a solid pick for Poland. The war-made loitering munition system represents a significant advancement in drone warfare, functioning as an effective kamikaze drone capable of carrying a variety of payloads for precision strikes. Designed for flexibility, the Warmate can be deployed in multiple scenarios, from anti-personnel missions to destroying fortified positions or high-value targets. Ukraine's special ops teams are often equipped with this drone, and they often use them to go after high-value targets like radars, anti-air systems, and electronic warfare arrays. As with all military technology, the proof is in the pudding. There's ample evidence of the Warmate taking on air defense systems right across Ukraine with blinding success. In this video, for example, a Polish Warmate destroys equipment worth more than $200 million in one simple hit. 
Ironically, the system it targets is supposed to be anti-drone weaponry. A red line through all of Poland's best gear is that it has been used to confront Russia in neighboring Ukraine. The next weapon on this list is no different. The Piorun is an advanced man-portable air defense system developed to enhance Poland's capability to engage and neutralize aerial threats, including aircraft, helicopters, and drones. As an upgraded version of the earlier Grom system, Piorun features enhanced seeker sensitivity and improved resistance to countermeasures, providing a more reliable defense against modern airborne threats. The system is designed for rapid deployment and ease of use, allowing infantry units to establish an effective air defense posture quickly. Piorun's operational effectiveness is augmented by its ability to operate in diverse weather conditions and during both day and night. Its high accuracy and fast reaction time make it an essential component of Poland's layered air defense strategy, ensuring ground forces have the necessary protection against low-altitude attacks and enhancing overall battlefield survivability. In Ukraine, Pierons and their earlier version, the Grom, have been used to shoot down aircraft, helicopters, drones and even missiles. It is one of the first man pads to be able to consistently shoot down missiles. And Poland has a real gem of a system on their hands with this. Seeing the growing threat of drones, Poland has also been hard at work to develop anti-air systems, capable of dealing with a lot of drones at the same time. The Pilicia system combines anti-aircraft guns and missile launchers to create a comprehensive short-range air defense solution. Designed to protect military formations and critical installations from aerial threats, the Pilicia features rapid reaction times and high firing accuracy. Its dual capability of utilizing both guns and missiles allows for a layered defense approach, increasing the probability of intercepting and neutralizing incoming threats effectively, and it integrates all units into one radar mesh zone, giving all units an enormous amount of intelligence. The Polish Armed Forces has 36 of these systems, and we are likely to see many more in the future. The Poprad system is a more sophisticated Polish air defense system designed to enhance the mobility and efficacy of ground forces by providing reliable short to medium range air defense. Mounted on a wheeled platform for rapid deployment across diverse terrains, the Poprad is equipped with a turret that can house up to four Krom or PRN anti-aircraft missiles. The system includes advanced radar and electro-optical tracking systems, allowing for autonomous operation and the ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously under all weather conditions. Its integration into networked battlefield command systems further enhances its operational capabilities, enabling coordinated defense with other military assets and contributing significantly to the overall air defense coverage. The Poprad is generally deployed with sister vehicles who carry smaller caliber cannons and machine guns to protect it, enabling a better defense against FPV drones and other threats that the missiles should not be wasted on. Another item which has flown under the radar internationally is WB Group's FlyEye drone. It was one of the first ISR drones delivered to Ukraine long before 2022 and has performed really well. Its lightweight and compact design allow for easy transport and quick deployment, making it particularly useful for units requiring immediate aerial intelligence. The FlyEye operates with a high degree of autonomy, capable of performing pre-programmed missions or being manually controlled in real time to adapt to changing battlefield conditions. Its advanced sensors and cameras provide high-resolution imagery, greatly enhancing the situational awareness and capability of ground forces to react to enemy movements. Compared to other fixed-wing drones, it drops its expensive parts with a parachute before landing, meaning less loss of equipment. It is Ukraine's go-to surveillance drone and has been delivered in vast quantities. Some estimates suggest that it flies around 1,000 surveillance flights in Ukraine daily, and its small size makes it much harder to shoot down than its bigger Western counterparts. An unsung hero of the Polish military is its domestically produced combat management system, the Topaz ICMS. Topaz started as a sophisticated artillery fire control system developed to enhance the efficiency and accuracy of Poland's artillery units. The by now upgraded system serves as the nerve center for coordinating and managing fire support, integrating various sensors, drones, weapons platforms, and command posts. Topaz enables real-time data sharing and decision-making, allowing artillery units to adjust fire 
based on dynamic battlefield conditions. Its automated calculations for targeting and adjustments significantly reduce the time between target acquisition and engagement, improving the responsiveness of artillery support. The system supports the coordination of fire from multiple artillery sources, including howitzers, mortars, and rocket launchers, optimizing the effectiveness of each unit involved. By facilitating precise and timely artillery strikes, the Topaz system plays a crucial role in modernizing Poland's artillery capabilities, making them more adaptable and lethal in a variety of combat scenarios. Ukraine's own combat management system, named Delta, is very similar and works seamlessly with Topaz. Another very obvious pick for this list is the Rack Mortar system. The Rack is a state-of-the-art mobile artillery unit available on both wheeled and tracked platforms. It is equipped with a fully automated 120mm mortar, which enables highly accurate indirect fire capabilities essential for supporting infantry operations. The Rack can rapidly deploy and deliver barrages, significantly impacting enemy formations by providing suppressive and destructive fire. Integrated with advanced aiming and positioning systems, the Rack ensures that each round is precisely delivered, maximizing effectiveness while minimizing ammunition expenditure. It is currently making massive waves in Ukraine, where it took Russia over a year to destroy just one measly system, which speaks to the system's massive maneuverability. Poland's vehicle of choice for this mortar is the aforementioned Rosomak, but it has also been successfully trialed on the Marta and several older Soviet-era vehicles. The last vehicle on this list will naturally have to be Poland's 100% homegrown IFV, the Borsuk. The system is still in field test, but to say the least, it looks like it will be one of the best in the business. Based on how well the Bradley and CV-90 have done in Ukraine, and with how Poland wants to be Europe's premier land army, it is only natural that they develop their own infantry fighting vehicle. This IFV will stand out as it will be amphibious, and also due to the fact that it'll have anti-air assets included, so that it can engage drones and short-range aerial targets. It'll also have a completely unmanned turret which will be controlled remotely, and active protection against FPV drones. My list is by no means exhaustive. There are a lot of other Polish-made equipment, which could have likely ended up on my list. I could have likely included the Langusta, the Polish variant of the Chunmu, and many of the quite excellent personal weapons in the Polish armed forces. Personally, I'm quite fond of the barrel series of rifles, and the new Grot version is among the best I've ever fired. In conclusion, Poland's robust portfolio of military equipment showcases a strategic blend of domestic innovation and international collaboration, firmly establishing its defense capabilities on the modern battlefield. From advanced artillery systems like the Krab Howitzer and the Rag Mortar system, to sophisticated air defense platforms like the Poprad and cutting-edge UAVs such as the Fly-Eye, Poland has significantly enhanced its military readiness and operational flexibility. The development of versatile armored vehicles like the Borsuk IFV and the Rosomak APC, along with tactical units such as the Weiros vehicle, further underscores Poland's commitment to maintaining a formidable defense posture. Additionally, the integration of modern small arms like the MSBS Grot rifle and the comprehensive artillery control provided by the Topaz system reflect Poland's forward-thinking approach to warfare. These capabilities not only strengthen Poland's national security, but also bolster its role within NATO, enhancing the collective defensive strength of the alliance. As geopolitical tensions evolve, Poland's continued focus on advancing its military technology and expanding its defensive arsenal will be crucial in safeguarding its interests and contributing to regional stability. If you liked this video, we'd be honored if you hit that like button. And if you think I missed out on something, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas, and may the coming period be good for you and the people around you.